everybody. I want to wish everybody out there a happy Hallow's Eve, happy Halloween, and please be sure to be safe out there uh, for this um, holiday, okay? So anyways, let's move forward. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Moon, Sun, and Rising. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. Um, also, I do want to let you guys know, um, for the beginning of the month of November, I will be uploading uh, the videos that get the most views or the most comments are definitely going to be going up first uh, for the beginning of November. Again, like I said, um, so definitely you guys support your uh, support your your sign. So let's get into this reading. I do want to mention I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now and your card Sagittarius came out already. Um, I'm going to be doing a love spread. So it's going to be four cards for you, how you see and view the situation in regards to your partner. And then I'm going to pull out four cards for your partner, how they see your uh, relationship and how they feel about you or towards you. Okay, then I will be pulling out a current situation factor card. So let's get into it. Um, so your cards came out already, uh, Sagittarius. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, the uh, Hanged Man. Your cards, uh, your partner's card, sorry, is the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So let me pull out your current situation card. All right, so let's get into your reading. All right, Sagittarius, for the mid-month of October, you have the Two of Swords. So at the present time, how you're feeling or what you guys are dealing with at the present time is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords could feel or it could represent feeling stuck, feeling like you don't want to move forward, you don't want to move uh, back. It's almost at a standstill. Uh, it could represent your energies or it can also represent your partner's energy. Someone is definitely knowing that the end is coming but you're not wanting to see it or you're not wanting to pull away from this relationship. The reason why I say that is because the cards that represent you, Sagittarius, and how you're viewing the situation is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is still wanting to fix this relationship or still wanting to put effort towards this relationship. Again, uh, the Ten of Swords follows the Eight of uh, Pentacles here. So even though you've been burdened or even though you feel like you've been unhappy for quite a while now, um, you're, still not really, you're still not really willing to walk away from this relationship. Now, for some of you guys, the separation already happened. The reason I say that is because right after the 10 of, so uh, sorry, the 10 of uh, wands, which is feeling stress, feeling emotional drainage, uh, the five of uh, cups is here. And the five of cups definitely speaks about uh, the loss of a relationship or feeling like you're kind of mourning the relationship or the person that you were with, um, a feeling of emptiness or a feeling of like they just walked out of your life. For some of you guys, it could have been that you kind of perceived the ending, but you didn't want to accept it. And it was your partner, the one that walked away from this relationship. Okay. With this five of cups here. Now you do have the, uh, hanged man here right next to the five of cups. So the hanged man definitely represents, um, taking some time to actually meditate or taking some time to actually go through these feelings, go through these emotions, even though it may be a bit difficult at the present time, you need to understand that a lot of the times from hurt comes understanding and clarity. Uh, perhaps it's a different perspective that you're going to be able to see and come to the determination that perhaps ending the relationship uh, or what was no longer working for you was the best thing that could have happened to you. Again, it's opening up new possibilities and new probabilities for you to actually find um, your happiness or find that balance that you need in your life, uh, Sagittarius. Now, how the person that is dealing with you is seeing the situation, uh, the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is definitely a water sign. So I feel that for some of you guys, ending or pulling away from this other relationship, which could have been with a uh, fire sign, uh, which would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or it could have been an Earth sign, which would be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, I definitely see a water sign coming in, and this water sign uh, could be representation of a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Uh, this is a love offering, okay? And this love offering is definitely coming around the same time uh, when you're able to walk away from this relationship as the knight is looking towards this Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, it could be that your partner actually, it, it could go both ways because it is a general reading. 
but definitely someone stepped out of the relationship and when you stepped out of the relationship there was a connection with someone else whether it's you or whether it's your partner these are your partner's cards um so again it could have been that they uh, pulled themselves out of the relationship and they're walking away from this relationship going towards this water sign um now the ten of swords here is definitely here again you have two two tens in this reading so there's definitely endings coming for you guys for you sagittarius um, again, the Ten of Swords is basically the ending. Uh, the ending has already happened or it's already occurring at the present time. Try the best you can not to resist it. Embrace new beginnings. Uh, I know a lot of the times ending relationships or pulling away from uh, people we've been knowing for quite a while or people we've shared relationships with is something very difficult. But you need to understand that what's dead is dead and you can no longer give it life. So what that means is at the end of the day, what no longer serves you, we must release it. We can't hold on to it. We can't uh, try to manipulate the situation in order for uh, to make them feel sorry for us to come back or vice versa. You know, try the best you can to see through uh, if that's what your, your ex-partner or person that you were with in a relationship is trying to do now, which is trying to get pity from you. Again, like I said, uh, try the best you can to see through that. Uh, there's no one should never try to manipulate someone else into staying into a relationship and that's definitely something very true so try the best you can to be mindful about that now i do see here with the knight of pentacles here uh this is the the knight of pentacles is you're leaving this relationship or your partner's leaving this relationship and uh, going towards something more stable or going towards something that is more promising uh, this is, uh, again, this could be the, these are the cards of the person that you're dealing with or we're dealing with. Um, but again, this Knight of Pentacles is under this, this hanged man. So what this means is after getting the clarity that you need and the understanding, you're able to move away from that situation towards better things, things that are going to be more long lasting and more stable. Uh, more than you've ever had in the past because again you have two tens here so the worst has already happened uh, now it's time to embrace new beginnings and think of the or see things in a positive light okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading comment like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe again happy hallows eve happy halloween to everyone out there enjoy this halloween and again be safe out there you guys Wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other in the beginning of November. Bye now.